A new study of patients treated for kidney cancer shows that aggressive, tailored treatments result in better survival rates. The landmark study found that the traditional approach to treating renal cancer should be updated. Stacy Gleason has the story. Is everything okay? I went to the oncologist and he finally told me, he said, Ellen, there's nothing we can do for you. I'm so sorry. He said, but it's in your lungs, it's in your liver, it's in your pelvis. And what I would have to give to you, the only thing I would have I can give to you would be so strong it would kill you in the condition you're in right now. That was four years ago, but Ellen Fortney's doctor referred her to UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center, where she was enrolled in a clinical trial of a new drug for kidney cancer. She also became part of a study of nearly 1,500 patients who have been followed for up to 15 years. Dr. Ari Beldegren is the senior author of the study. We find that kidney cancer is not a homogeneous disease, and that has been known in the past three to five years. It's not one, uh, one tumor. It looks like one. The pathologist is looking at one, but the behavior of this tumor is very different at different patients. Because of that, a one-size-fits-all approach doesn't work in treating the disease. What we really found is there are three types, subtypes of patients uh, with localized kidney cancer. Those that we call them high risk, intermediate risk, and low risk. The low risk group of patients are those that we can identify immediately after the surgery and predict that in 97% of the patients they will be well at 5, 10, and even 15 years after therapy. On the other hand, there's a group of patients that we originally thought that they are essentially cured, and that's why we did the surgery, only to find later on that five years later, 50% of them have had a recurrence with metastatic disease somewhere else. The UCLA team developed an integrated, detailed staging system for patients and then based treatment decisions on that information. Kidney cancer is a very aggressive type of cancer and it's not responsive to the traditional chemotherapy. It's not responsive to any radiation and therefore we had to come up with some new ways of therapy. So it's important to know which patient receive which and deserves which type of therapy and that's the hallmark of personalized, tailored medicine. Newer targeted treatment agents have been approved and more are in the pipeline. The research has been so advanced and new generation of drugs are currently uh, being tested. I am aware of at least five to six new, dr new drugs that are being tested for this particular disease. While effective, some of the drugs have powerful side effects. After the first six months on the, the heavy dose, I kind of told the doctor that I might prefer the cancer to the drug. So Ellen then talked with her doctor. He goes, well, let's see, we can reduce it a little bit. You've done really well on this. We'll just take it down to the next level. And I'm still on that one. The approach to treating kidney cancer at UCLA involves an interdisciplinary team of physicians, including the surgeons, radiologists, and oncologists. The patient comes in at that time, at that place, all the subspecialty and expertise in kidney cancer is in the same clinic, and we all discuss what can we do for the patient. The team approach made you feel like you were never alone. No matter what your problem was, somebody from the team was going to help you. For World Health News Today, I'm Stacy Gleason.